Number 10. Do not identify items that you own as being particularly special or sentimental. Now, if you identify uh, something, let's just say it's a framed picture, um, and, and you've expressed that you really care about that and, you know, really enjoy owning it, I assure you <laughs> that he will target that because that's what they do. They are in such a... Uh, grave emotional despair that even objects become addition to them. Start getting your stuff out of there. We all have seasonal things. So for example, if you're planning your departure for the summer and you know you've got your sandals out and all your winter boots and things are packed away or in a crawl space or somewhere like that, just start getting those things uh, out of there. Uh, I rented a storage unit, but if you've got a friend or family that can let you, you know, uh, sneak a few feet of their space in their basement or storage uh, uh, shed out back, something, like start getting your stuff out of there. You have to start considering where you're going to go when you finally escape the narc in your life. Um, I had tried a couple of times to to stay within the community that we lived in, but ultimately, you know, during uh, the grand finale, when this thing, when he finally, finally drove the final nail into the coffin, uh, I decided to move far away. Uh, I'm, I'm a good day drive away now. And I don't know if that's going to work for you, you know, if there's kids involved. But uh, my advice would be get as far away as you possibly can. Really start to internalize what's happening to you. You are the victim of narcissistic abuse. You are a prisoner and a captive. You are not in a relationship. He doesn't love you. He's not going to miss you. In fact, you're going to be replaced immediately. Just really start to see it for what it is from a point of, of a clear mind. Your mind has been played with and, you know, you've been in a state of confusion. You need to back out of that confusion and you need to see what it is exactly you're leaving. There's nothing there. Do not tell your narc anything about your exit strategy. I warn you, this is this is a mistake. You keep this to yourself and you do this as privately and quietly as you possibly can. Now, this evil monster is out to get you. They're truly trying to harm you. You need to be a good friend to yourself right now because they are certainly not going to be. Now, you keep this to yourself and you start to plan this without uh, him knowing or suspecting start to stash money. Now, if your narc is as creepy as mine was, because my God was mine a creeper, uh, they could very likely be reading your bank statements, uh, checking your bank account online, any number of things. So stash money uh, in a way that they're not going to find out about it. Having that money is going to put you in a more powerful position and see you in a more powerful position. Now, because they're untrusting, uh, suspicious monsters by nature, um, they may start to suspect you're withdrawing and pulling out. So what I did, because it was really hard to hide the fact that I just, I couldn't stand the sight of him. I didn't want to be around him. You know, the idea that I was waking up beside him was stomach turning to me. So what I did to ensure he, you know, didn't catch on with my exit strategy, I just kept pouring on the love. You know, you're so beautiful. You're so wonderful. I love you. What would I do without you? And I just kept pouring it on. I just kept biting my tongue and keeping a straight face. And, you know, being such so sucking ego megalomaniacs he's just gluttonizing this and you know I mean <laughs> in retrospect uh, that was really that was really the fun part of um, planning my exit strategy 
Do not look for revenge. This is a soul-sickening process of trying to get even with someone. You know, the thing you hate about them, the reason you feel repelled and have to get away is because they're a horrible person. You are targeted by them because you are a really wonderful, fabulous person. So hang on to that. Do not go look and for God's sakes, do not enter into another relationship. You're very uh, distressed right now because somebody brought all their emotional uh, disease into your life. So, well, you're ill like this and you need to recover. Don't be inflicting uh, your baggage on someone new. The time will come. Heal. Truly, a man, you know, deserving of you or a woman, depending on who's watching this, this will come in time, but right now, you need to get well. And an important aspect of uh, your exit strategy is going to be uh, reconnecting with people. It's a very strong likelihood that you've been isolated, as many victims have been. So reconnecting with old friends and family and people you haven't spoken to for a long time can be uh, extremely helpful. You're going to need an ally outside of your circle with him. So that's where I'd start looking. If you think it's best and safest for you to relocate um, to a different uh, part of the province, state, country, or world, um, start to do your research. Uh, I returned to a small uh, Canadian heartland town and, um, you know, I did my research. Or I started to make arrangements for, you know, banking and housing and medical and, you know, start looking at things like that. So, you know, it figure out where you're going, how you're getting there, how much money you're going to need. Do not write anything down for the love of God. Keep it all in your head and remember uh, you are being watched by, by an evil monster.